A man is nearly killed in a horrible accident and is rushed to a hospital where doctors valiantly perform life-saving procedures. But their efforts are sadly in vain. As death rapidly approaches, the doctor consoles the man's family and tells them that all they can do now is pray. But what is the doctor basing his advice on? Does he truly believe prayer can do what medical science couldn't? Or is he just mouthing an empty cliché? Traditionally, physicians have scoffed at the notion of prayer as a treatment option for their patients. But today, that tradition is being undone by former chief of staff at Medical City Dallas Hospital, Dr. Larry Dossey, who is sending shockwaves through the medical community with his news that prayer indeed does work. We've always said that there isn't any proof that prayer works. If you want to believe in prayer, you're on thin ice. There isn't any proof, and belief is just a matter of faith and fantasy. I think the proof that prayer works is one of the best-kept medical secrets going. In his book, Dr. Dossey outlines over 130 studies which prove there is power in prayer. But the doctor wasn't always a believer. When I went to medical school, I became your self-respecting agnostic, and I stayed that way for many, many years. And I, like all well-trained physicians who believed in the power of science and objectivity, knew that the only way to solve medical problems was through drugs and surgical procedures and through things that you could basically hold in your hand and see. But later, Dr. Dossey was forced to question his steadfast convictions. I will never forget uh, an incident that happened to me the first year I was in medical practice, which really uh, knocked my socks off. This patient of mine was dying from lung cancer. He refused all treatment. The only thing that he got in terms of therapy was that his congregation from the church ringed his bedside during all visiting hours and prayed nonstop for the man. I sent him home to die because he didn't choose to have any therapy. One year later, Dr. Dossey learned the man was back at the hospital with a bad case of the flu. Amazed the patient had not succumbed to his disease, Dossey, with great curiosity, examined the man's current x-rays. The radiologist report said, in the intervening 12 months, this man has had a dramatic response to therapy. The chest x-ray is now normal. The radiologist assumed that the man had had chemotherapy or some medication which made this uh, cancer go away. I knew that the only therapy that the man had was prayer. This case disturbed me a lot. Though having been a witness to a miracle, the doctor was still a doctor. I didn't want anything to do with this prayer business. I really got involved in it, sort of kicking and screaming against my better medical judgment. And the thing that helped me more than anything was science. Ironically, the spiritual answers for which Dr. Dossey was searching lay amongst the same scientific journals which initially caused him to reject prayer. I went to a lot of trouble and work to uncover these studies, and I was, uh, I was stunned by the depth and the breadth of this evidence. The most famous study involving prayer uh, has gone on at San Francisco General Hospital. The study involved 393 people who had all suffered heart attacks. Patients were given comparable state-of-the-art care, but some also received care of a supernatural nature. Half of these people, unknown to them, have their first names farmed out to various prayer groups around the country who pray for them. And when the results were in, it looked as if the prayed for group had been given some sort of special advantage. Special indeed, because those patients who had been prayed for were incredibly three times less likely to develop complications, five times less likely to require antibiotics, and had a consistently higher survival rate than those patients who were not remembered in prayer. The most remarkable thing that has happened in the study of prayer is simply the finding that it works. That's got to be major medical news in this century. Experiments have also been conducted on animals, plants, and even bacteria. We can show in these very delicate studies that prayer works not on human beings, but on these lower organisms. This is really important. 
because the skeptics say that if prayer works, it's just a matter of positive thinking and the effects of suggestion and expectation. But clearly, animals, plants, and bacteria cannot respond to suggestion and positive thinking as we do. So what's the answer? How does prayer work? I think sooner or later we probably will have a scientific explanation for prayer, but it's only fair to say we don't have one yet. We often have had therapies in medicine which we used before we knew how they worked. Uh, penicillin is a great example. When penicillin was discovered, we didn't have a clue how it worked, but we knew that it worked. And we didn't let the lack of a theory stand in our way of using it. It's the same with prayer. There are basically two ways to pray. Praying for oneself and praying for others. We asked Dr. Dossie if he became ill, which method he would use. Since we know they both work, if I were sick, I would use both. And I personally uh, would get on as many prayer lists as I could. <laughs> Dr. Dossie isn't the only practitioner who has accepted this alternative form of healing. A recent survey has shown that 43% of physicians in the United States actually pray for their patients. Now, most of my colleagues wouldn't be caught dead praying in public. My hunch is that when the information supporting it scientifically becomes better known, it will be widely used and probably publicly by physicians. And as they do so, medicine as we know it will never be the same. Will this earth-shaking information become accepted and utilized publicly by the medical community, as Dr. Dossi surmises? With so many physicians already giving credence to this supernatural power as a healing tool, it seems likely that doctors, in addition to medication, will also one day prescribe prayer, the ultimate miracle cure.